Taylor here with AgriSpray Drones. Today we're going to show you how to change out the liquid tank for the spreader tank, how to run through a calibration process, and how to get set up for your first spreading operation. So first thing you're going to want to do is get the drone set up somewhere where you can actually dump product out of the bottom where the spreader is going to dump out and into a tote, something like this right here. It's best to do this whenever the drone is empty and there's no battery in it, which makes it a lot lighter. We just use five pallets on both sides. You can also use five gallon buckets. It does work too. All right, next thing you want to do is take the tank out of the drone. You want to make sure first off there's no battery in it and it's powered off, of course. So the first thing you're going to do is take off the shield on the back of the tank. It's just a plastic cover. It just snaps on with these snaps right here. Set that aside. And then we have to take off our liquid lines. There are two liquid lines on both sides. Look just like this. They have two wing nuts on them. So if we pull this down, you can see a wing nut here and a wing nut there. We prefer to take off this wing nut and leave this assembly actually on the tank itself. So we're going to loosen up this wing nut, pull out the hose, and then I like to take the wing nut off of this hose and put it back onto this assembly. That way you don't lose it. The reason we take this side off and not this side is because right here, that assembly there, that's actually a uh, there's a spring and a check valve inside of there that sometimes will come apart and then you lose your spring and that's not a good thing. So we prefer to take this side off. Next, we take our wire out, just like that. The first time you take this out, it can be kind of a bear to get it because there's a little pin or a clip right there. Um, so a pair of pliers maybe and some light tugging uh, is what you have to do. We've already taken this side off of the other side of the tank. So now all we have to do is lift the tank out. So first we'll take our liquid lines, push them up above the frame so they don't get caught. And then it should pull right out. We can put that aside. Okay, now on our granular tank, sitting right here, this is how it comes out of the box. Before we install this, since we are going to be doing a calibration run, we're going to go ahead and take uh, this cotter pin out and take off the disc. So pull that cotter pin out. This is reverse thread. It shows you to the right is actually to loosen it up. Take the wing nut off. Take this disc off and that disc off. We'll set those aside for right now. The reason we do that is because for a calibration run, we just want to dump it straight out of the tank, not actually spread it uh, and spin it. All right, now this can go drop right in. The wire goes out to the right side of the drone and it should rest on your scales here, other side and the front. And then plug it back in to the plug that the liquid tank came out of. Make sure it clips, which it did. Great. Now we can throw a battery back in the drone, boot it up, and get started for the, cal the calibration process. Okay, now I should note that we are on the latest firmware as of right now, 712 on the remote and 400 on the drone. Different firmwares do have a slightly different uh, calibration styles or, or menus. So to calibrate, we want to go to begin and then to your settings on the top right, and then spreader settings. And then we're just going to start at the top of the list here where it says calibrate. So uh, empty tank calibration, just make sure that your tank is in fact empty. If you look inside of there, nothing's in there and that your spinner for empty tank uh, uh, detection is actually spinning. So just hit calibrate, start calibration, give it a second and it'll do its job. Now we'll do a tear calibration and if we back out, you can see that we do have pretty much zero pounds right now. So we don't have to do a tear calibration because the tank is in fact empty and reading zero pounds. But if it's not, this is where your tear calibration comes in handy. And it's just like that. Now we have to do a weight calibration to actually calibrate the scales on the drone. So we're going to hit calibrate and it's going to tell us it needs 20 kilograms of payload. So this is where a scale comes uh, in handy, a scale that you can weigh a five gallon bucket out and weigh product out to dump inside the drone. Now we do already have uh, 20 kilograms of product weighed out in a bucket. I'm going to go ahead and dump that in and then we'll do this calibration. 
Okay, so we'll open up our tank. And over here, we're actually, we're using cat litter today for a demonstration. And I've already weighed this out to 20 kilograms. We use a scale just like this. Uh, it's just a, a five gallon bucket uh, size scale with the external reader. We'll put a link to this on this video. I'm gonna go ahead and take this and dump it into the drone. Put that underneath so that it can dump into. Now we're ready to do our weight calibration. Okay, so we're gonna go back into weight calibration, 20 kilograms, which we have dumped into the tank right now, and then hit start calibration, and that's that. So now, after we've done all of our weight calibrations, we actually have to calibrate our product. So if we go back up a little bit, materials management right here, click on that. This is gonna show you all of the materials that have been uh, calibrated to this drone. And there's some of these are gonna pre-populate that are gonna be already uh, in your system if you haven't done anything yet. You can just, you can delete those if you don't want those, like rice, we're never gonna spread rice. Just click delete, and yes, you can delete those. You can click on your pencil icon, you can rename them right here. This is uh, one of the ones that comes in the drone is uh, urea. And if you wanna add a new material, it's right here, click add new material, and then you can start your calibration process on that material. For us, we already have litter actually in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit recalibrate. So hit recalibrate, and this is what it would be like if you were actually making a new, uh, a new product or a new template. So the first thing it asks you is which gate do you have? Well, everybody's gonna have this gate, the gate one. The larger, see these, these black areas are larger holes. The number two is the smaller holes. If you need this smaller hole gate, let us know. The T40 right now does not actually have this available here in the US, uh, but we can, we can request to get these for you. Hit start calibration, and it's going to start dumping out product. So what it's doing right now essentially is it is opening the gate to different percentages and then measuring how fast the product dumps out at those percentages to give essentially a curve. You saw those curves on the previous screen here. Okay, great. So what we have here, it just stops spreading. And we have a message on the screen that says spreading payload low, follow instructions to perform the next operation. What that tells us is that the tank was not full enough to complete an entire uh, calibration flow. And so we just hit OK, and it just tells us to add a full tank of payload uh, to the drone. So all we have to do is take what it dumped out and dump it back into the top. Then it's 81% complete right now, so all we have to do is just hit resume and it will continue dumping out. There we go, we're 100% done. So now it says we are uh, check marked, green, calibrated, so we're good. So we can change our material name right here if we want to. If you're adding a new material, you'd have to actually give it a name at this stage, but since we already had, we just did recalibration, then we can change it if we like. And then here it actually shows us our flow curve uh, that it created. There's no units on here, obviously, but this is the, the curve that it, that it created. So we just hit save, and there we go. It's saved. All right, so now if you actually wanted to use that material and go out and actually do some spreading, then if you go up here to the top left, we click on our route tab, or we can do manual plus or AB, and then over here on the left-hand side, once you hit start the operation, then it'll ask you, okay, what material are you spreading? This is where you do your drop down, and you select your material, litter, right there is us and then you just give it all of the parameters. If you have material left in the tank like we do here, and you need to dump the rest of it out so you can actually move the drone and maybe recalibrate it for a different material, 
Then you want to go into manual mode, select your hopper outlet size to 100%. That's that's uh, you know fully open hopper, and then click your spread button right here, the top left red button, and it's going to start dumping out of the tank. Now it may shut off if it doesn't detect anything, so you may have to open the gate, push it down there uh, to the bottom of the of the hopper, then turn it back on. Then it'll continue to dump. So we're going to go ahead and dump the rest of this tank out. You can see right now that we have uh, the gate opened and we have our empty tank spinner. So this thing right down there that's spinning really fast, that senses if there's payload or not. So right here we've actually overridden this by pressing the spread button twice. And so we're just going to tap on this tank, put that open, and get the rest of this out of here. Press our red button again, and that'll shut it off. Okay, so that is how you uh, install and calibrate your T40 spreader tank. Thanks.